Hey RVers and future RVers, I'm Mikey V with Beckley's RVs. We got one coming in hot for you today, the 190 Missile. I'm just kidding. It's a 190 MSL by Ember for 2024 for the Overland series. There's a lot of cool features that we've got to dive into. We're going to hit some on the outside and some on the inside. Come with us. All right, we're standing outside the 2024 Ember Overland series of 190 MSL. Look up the Overland um, stuff. It, it is pretty cool, but basically you're going trail running, you're going off the grid a little bit, doing more of that boondock style camping. And this model is set for you. Off-grid capabilities and getting there is just the start. So let's start up out front is this big utility box. It's all made out of metal. Not only does it keep our propane and our battery secure and safe out from the outside elements, but it is secure in the sense you can still load some stuff on top, um, tie it down easily. And then if you are getting into some trail running, you've got some branches, rocks th getting thrown at you, etc. This is going to take a lot more beating than those plastic propane covers. You know what I mean? When you go off grid, you're probably going to encounter some like maybe some extreme uh, weather elements. And this camper is, is going to take care of you. It's got the tank heaters that's uh, on board that um, uh, illuminates some of the, that heat for your, your, your water system that's underneath. And of course, the heating system is going to help su supply some of that too. But all your water hookups are, are located inside as well. It's uh, insulated easily by this baggage door with some radiant heat that you got going on the inside. But speaking of um, uh, just the, the water system here is just, just the, factor, the fact that it's convenient. We have our pool valves for our black and gray uh, hookup. We have our water hookup. We, have a san we can sanitize from here. And we even have hot and cold water with a quick connect. We can hook up a hose, wash off our feet, uh, wash off some of those big pots and pans, etc. So not only convenience, but very functional. All right, moving back up to the front, we're talking about hooking up and, and uh, getting to our camp spot. We have a nice big heavy duty, duty um, hitch here to, to securely put, hook up to our vehicle. But up underneath, you're gonna notice this big uh, kind of new looking apparatus. The traditional travel trailer tongue is that crank handle jack that, yeah, we find that those gears under a long, hard load over the years, they, they go bad. This sucker is beefy. I, this is probably more than ample to take care of twice the size of trailer. And did I mention it's electric as well? So we could just push a button, hook and unhook our vehicle with confidence and security with this big old lippered uh, tongue jack that they call a gate defender. Speaking of jacks, we're going to move to the back a little bit. But we have a jack system that again is made by Lippard that's going to make um, setup a lot easier. So as we get to our campsite, we've got four corners uh, that we need to take care of. And whether you have a jack handle or if you got a cheat with a drill and with a, a bit on the end, we just loosen it up a little bit and it's a quick drop. So it takes a lot of the um, time, if you will, to sit here and have to do this. Who wants to do that? So again, the quick drop stabilizer on all four corners is gonna cut your time easily in a third far as dropping your jacks. Now, once you got your jacks dropped down, what we find in some of the travel trailers, especially the single axles, we may still get a little bit of movement front to back, especially as tall as this is, which is awesome to give you the ground clearance, but with the jacks down, the, the more that your jack is straight up and down, the less it's gonna give you some of that um, stability far as movement front to back. Don't worry, they've got you covered. This hookup system here, I'm not even sure what to call it, but it's almost like a brake system. You bring this over to the tire and you lock it in securely. And now that keeps the trailer tire from rotating, thus keeping your camper going front to back. So really cool braking system that just gives you a little bit more, um, uh, not gonna say stability, but a little bit more um, levelness, a little bit more sanity inside without having the trailer having to move. Now we're going off road, right? Who knows what we're gonna encounter. We wanna take all our goodies and our toys with us. Again, don't worry, Ember's got you covered. This big baggage door goes up underneath the bunk beds. So we'll be able to uh, throw a bunch of big bulky items in here. Bikes, kayaks, stand up paddle boards. Let's go around back and we'll see because there's also a second way to load some of your stuff. All right, so on the back side, underneath this bunk bed area, if you will, 
we have a secondary door that we can easily stow stuff in that way. So maybe if you have some bikes or something uh, real quick that you want to uh, slide in, or more importantly, maybe you don't have the room to lift the whole the whole uh, side door open to, to easily access this, we can still stow a bunch of stuff in here. And we even have some tie downs so we can lock up, lock up our merchandise and keep it from flopping around. Don't use this for bikes or whatever you may need. Maybe you need, or maybe I should say you need more. There's a two inch receiver that's on the back here that we can hook up a bike rack or a cargo rack or whatever, just to get even more of our gear to go with this so we can just have an awesome camping trip along the way. And speaking of along the way, what if we get a blowout, right? Spare tire, they've got you covered on this as well. Full size spare tire, matching rim, so it's not gonna look like you had a, a boo-boo at any point if you do need to change it out. But what I love the fact is where they placed it. They placed it up high to make it easy to get to, especially it's not underneath the trailer like a lot of these other uh, manufacturers do. Or more importantly, it's not on say like a bumper and taking up our space where a lot of industry uh, manufacturers recommend a bumper or bikes. In this case, or excuse me, it's a spare tire or bikes. In this case, we're getting them both. And on up high here, visibility. I love the, that they've come prepped with not only a backup camera, but also a side camera. So if we need to back up, we've got that security to be able to see down behind us. And then those uh, busy highways with lane changes flip a turn signal. And we'll be, have, uh, we'll be able to have a full visibility down the side of the camper. And last but not least, we gotta get up on the roof sometimes to do some regular maintenance. But hey, we go to the racetrack. I love to get on the roof and just watch some of the cars go around. So Lippert has a, um, a telescoping ladder that Ember has installed here ahead of the game that you can easily attach and bring down and get up there um, real quickly. But more importantly, the telescoping ladder folds down and doesn't take up a big six, eight foot amount of space in your storage. So outside features of this Overland series, can you see you going out on the trails and camping in it? Inside the 2024 Ember Overland Series 190 MSL, it is hot in fuego inside with a lot of the functionality and features that we've got going on. When we walk inside, it, it is a little bit of a smaller camper, but man, they really utilize the space with um, just the sitting area, the bed space, storage, etc. So let's dive into some of these uh, features that you're gonna see here today. But I, a side note, definitely gotta check out some of, um, some of the finer details like the heating, air conditioning, construction, uh, solar, battery, inverter kind of stuff that the Ember offers on these campers. So up front first, let's kick it off. We have a sofa with a table um, that's easily, that uh, you could put on either sofa. And when I say easy, it is like one of the easiest uh, table bases and table that, uh, leg that I've ever seen in, in doing all these videos and in my experience. So if you don't want the table, man, I mean, you saw how quickly we could uh, take it off, but quick meal, eat up, move it, um, maybe get it off, uh, you know, for dinner, uh, watch a movie or whatever. All right. Sofa easily converts into a bed via the uh, Murphy bed setup, right? We just pick up the sofa base, unlatch, set up our mattress. And now we have a nice queen bed that sleep two adults easily. So you saw how fast that is. If you need to obviously, um, you know, set it up uh, for bed at night or in, in reverse, everybody's up, had their cup of coffee. And we're ready, ready for day mode. So in day mode here, we've got a TV that's on a swivel so we can easily um, watch some TV and, and regardless of what position that you're at. We've got a lot of storage on both sides, even, even utilize the armrest here uh, for some storage, maybe third remotes or uh, small, t uh, like uh, maybe your cell phone or stuff. Um, storage up underneath the kitchen that we're gonna get to. Nice lighting overhead with the big windows that they use in this uh, camper. And speaking of overlanding with like outdoor climate and control and that kind of stuff, dual pane windows, it definitely aids in those extreme temperatures, whether it's hot or cold, it's not gonna get all that frost or uh, fogginess that you will with a traditional, traditional camper. All right, let's set this back up real quick so Nick and I can swap spaces. 
See what I'm telling you? Easy peasy. All right, second sofa. Right here, again, we can have a nice, uh, nice uh, table set up if we want to share a meal with the front sofa. You probably may uh, want to have the two tables set up because this, this uh, you got with the bunk beds and the bed, the bed up front, and heck, you can even use this as a sleeper. You could sleep five, six, seven people in here if you, if you needed to. So definitely may need that for mealtime, having two tables. We've got a lot of storage up at the top to be able to throw everybody's gears um, gear in there. And again, another big window, throw some uh, cross ventilation going up, crack that open and man, enjoy what mother nature's throwing at us. All right, opposite of all this is gonna be your kitchen space. Big, deep uh, 12 volt refrigerator, gonna cool a lot quicker. Um, and the fact that it's 12 volt, it doesn't have that propane compressor that a traditional RV has, uh, refrigerator has. So that's why we get that extra space to throw in all those goodies. Microwave at top. And if, if you want to zap some popcorn or something, and if that's not enough to get some reheats or whatever, if you want to cook, you got a two burner propane stove that uh, you can cook up some eggs in the morning or some, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't use my propane stove inside too much, so you guys will have to help me out. All the storage underneath with the soft drawer, uh, uh, soft closed drawers and storage underneath the sink. And yet yeah, the kitchen is a little bit smaller, but guess what? We have the covering there for the stove top. We have a covering here for the sink. And now I have all this ample space to throw out a coffee pot, maybe do some meal prepping for the, for the meals that we traditionally cook, for example, on the outside. And again, more storage at the top, throw some of your, your kitchen um, uh, pot, you know, pay, uh, plots and pans and plates, etc. All right, get into the back. This is definitely, if you've seen any of our other videos or if you've done some research already, e-track this ember e-track is phenomenal it's one of the most innovative and i think best ideas on how to utilize the bunk bed area because we all have kids i've had three in the past that oh, man when we went camping we had took all kinds of stuff and mom and dad man you need your sanity when you go camping so you tend to bring more stuff with you for the kids so that way when they're ripping through all this all activity stuff you've got one more to go one more another one lined up ready to roll to keep them active and keep them occupied during the day, we could lift all this up and bring all that stuff. So if it's bikes, kayaks, book bags, dog, whatever it may be, you can either do one of two things. You can take the, the beds and flip up against the wall and get some space that way. Or with the E-Track system, we can locate these brackets and we can take them all the way up into the ceiling uh, practically and now have this whole open cavity for space to do whatever. Maybe throw some bean bags under there. The kids can have some fun and enjoy that as kind of their own space. Lighting, charging stations, this is set up for definitely kid kid friendly uh, space. All right, last we wrap up into the bathroom. And again, nothing uh, less less here that would disappoint us in any kind of factor in a smaller camper, plenty of space. Ember did a great job in maintaining a lot of light, a lot of storage space, even with the window and the vent so we can get some breathe of, uh, breathable factor that's going uh, in the bathroom, especially if some mom, dad, or one of the kids are in the shower, taking a really hot shower. But speaking of that, we have plenty of elbow space, plenty of head height, nice, um, easy wipe down real quick uh, spring loaded um, shower curtain here. So again, all these wonderful features, of the Overland uh, series, definitely take care of you out on the trails on the outside. Inside, it's going to keep you comfort, com <laughs> comfortable and confident in having all that you need to go on a long weekend or long week trip. So again, the 2024 Ember Overland series, the 190 MSL. All right, there you have it. What do you think? Is it gonna take care of you out on the trails and off grid? Man, I think so. And I've done a lot of camping. These Overland series by Ember has it all. Again, do some research, check out some of the features that we didn't get a chance to cover. Certainly comment below if there's any questions that you have along the way, we'd love to help. If you liked the video, give us a thumb up, thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Again, the 2024 Ember Overland Series 190 MSL. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you out on the trails.